All right, Algebra 1, Lesson 106. This is on linear equations and then an equation of a line through two points. Now, first thing I want you to understand is that slope-intercept form. This is so important. You're going to need to know what slope-intercept form is. The formula for slope-intercept is y equals mx plus b. Okay? The m just so you know, defines the slope, okay? So, let's just stop right there for just a second, and you need to write that. The M defines the slope. Okay, now, knowing that, here's what they say. This is 106.1. Find the equation of the line that passes, passes through points 4, 2, and then, so 4, 2, and then negative 5, negative 3. Okay, now I'm going to use a different color on this so we can really see. Alright, so I'm going to draw 4, 2. So remember this is x and then this is y. So if x is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, positive 4. Then 4 and then up 2 over 4. y is 1, 2, so that makes this spot right there. And then negative 5, negative 3. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then negative 3 goes down 1, 2, 3. Alright, now, once you get your um, two dots, you're gonna, it's really good to do this on graph paper because you'll get a perfect line. And then you get a ruler and draw this line. Okay? Now, once you get that, that's good to have. Okay? Um, now, if I were going to tell you what is the answer um, for this, okay, so stay with me for just a minute. What I'm going to do is once I get this, I'm going to draw this little dotted line going down on this line and then over on that line, okay? Kind of looks like I'm making a triangle. I'm not trying to, but that's important for you to see, okay? So then you're going to ask yourself, this is the easiest way to come up with slope, all right? So um, we always read a line from left to right. So this line is going up, okay? You see that? It's going to give us a positive answer. Okay, now I could have done this, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, and then over, okay? I could have done that as well, okay? And because we know it's a positive, let's go on and do that. I'll just actually leave that like that. It's okay, you'll eventually get it if you use that one, but let's just go with this one. All right, so how much did I rise from here to here? Okay, and then we're going to run from here to here. See what we're doing? So here's my dot and here's my dot. So I rise, then I run. Runs left or right, rising is up, in here, up or down. Okay, how much did I rise? Well, look at these ticks. One tick, two ticks, three ticks, four ticks, five. So I'm going to put a five here. I rose five. And how much did I run? I'm going to follow these ticks. One tick, two tick, three tick, four tick, five tick, six ticks, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to put a nine right here. Rise 9, and remember, slope, just what M equals, is rise over run. You should know that already. M equals rise over run. So rise is 5, run is 9. The answer is 5 nines. Now, if we chose to do this one down here, then, again, we would start and we'd go down, would be negative 5, and over left would be negative 9, and two negatives would make it positive. So we'd get the same answer, just letting you know. All right? So, now, our, our rise and our run, or our slope, is five nines. Now, if you don't remember how to do this, there's another way that you can and actually talk this to you. And it's m equals y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. And that means you would take... Your second y, so this would be x and y, x1, y1, x2, and y2. So I would take y2, which is my negative 3, 
minus my y1, 2, all over, and then my x2, negative 5, minus my x1, 4. And then when I do that problem, negative 3 plus a negative 2 would give me a negative 5. And negative 5 plus a negative 4 would give me negative 9. And remember, negative negative makes positive. So the answer will be 5 ninths, which we already determined using this other method. So I don't care which method you use. Um, sometimes it's hard to figure out these. Um, but if you can, go on and do that. If not, you have this um, formula you can use. So our M is 5 ninths. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to put in this M spot... Five ninths. Okay? Now, the cool thing is we know one of our x's and we can use either one, and we know our y, and then all we have left is to discover our b. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's determine. Now, either I'm going to use x1 and y1 or x2 and y2. Doesn't matter. I'm going to go on and use the x1 and y1. So, for this x, I'm going to put a 4. That's times 4. And for this y, I'm going to put a 2. Okay? Now, this becomes our equation, and we're trying to figure out what b is. Okay? See that? So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and multiply these. 5 ninths times this 4 would be 4 over 1. That would be 20 over 9 plus b equals 2. Now I'm going to put that 2 over 1. Okay? Alright, now um, the next thing we're going to do is uh, I think the best thing to do, let's go on and uh, okay, let's go on and keep our b, let's go b equals and then move this across the equal sign. So that becomes negative 20 ninths plus this 2 over 1. Now, as you can see, these are not common denominators. So, negative 20 over 9 plus 2 over 1. We're going to make 9 as our common denominator. Times 9 times 9, 18. Times 1 times 1, negative 20. So, negative 20 plus 18 gives me negative 2 over 9. So that's exactly what I'm going to write. Um, my answer is B equals negative 2 over 9. But, we're not done. So what you have to do is write negative 2, oh, I'm sorry, that was my B. Okay, my B is negative 2 over 9. Okay? Now, once we have it in that form, okay, again, we know that Y equals MX plus B. Once you discover your B, and once you discover your M, now that we know both, both of those, they want us to put it back in this form, but they only want us to answer for B and M. So, we're going to leave the Y's, Y, Y equals, and our M was 5 ninths, and you just bring down your X plus, and then our B was negative 2 ninths. Final answer, Y equals 5 ninths X plus negative 2 ninths, and that would be your final answer for that kind of problem. Okay, this is um, how you would want to leave it. Y equals 5 9 X plus negative 2 minus. All right, let's do another one just to make sure you're getting it really well because um, that could be a little bit confusing. All right, here we go. Now, this one says, and this one's going to be a little bit harder because uh, um, they actually... Actually, actually, I think it's the next one that's going to be hard because they do something a little different. Okay, so here's what it says. Find the equation of the line that passes through points 4, 2, negative 2, and negative 3, 4. All right, so let's go ahead and graph these points. I'm going to do blue this time. 4, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, and negative 2 would be here. And then negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and positive 4 here. So, if I were to draw this line, it would look something like that. Okay? Now, as you can see, reading from left to right, this slope goes down, which means that it's going to be a negative. Okay? So, negative goes down. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make my uh, thing. So what we're going to go from here, make that triangle. Okay, and then you can erase the rest. Okay, so then you ask yourself how many ticks. So one, maybe easier to look down here, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven ticks. And then from here to here, it may be better to do it over here. One, two, three, four, five, six ticks. Okay, so we went over, but remember, M is rise over run. So we rose six and we run seven. Now, um, I want you to look at something. Let me make sure. So from this, um, if I were to go down here and over here, okay? So if I go down and over, so I'll get a 6 and a 7. Now remember, because we know that we're reading it down, we know that it's a negative, okay? So M equals a negative 6, 7. If it was going upward, you're always going to get M equals a positive number, okay? So that is our M. Six sevens, negative six sevens. Okay. Now they're wanting us to take it. That that answer. Now remember, you can come up with this also. Y two minus y one over x two minus x one. Okay. Y two minus y one. The second y minus the first y, and the second x minus the first x. However you want to do it. But either way, we came up with negative six sevens. Okay, now, now that we know that, M equals negative 6 sevens. Now, because we know that, let's go on and write out our formula. Y equals MX plus B. Alright, our M is negative 6 sevens. Alright, and then, now you're going to pick a Y and pick an X. Now, you can either use these two or these two. You can't pick one from one. So, I'm going to use... Um, this y, which is a negative 2 for my y, and then for my x, I'm going to use a 4 plus b. We don't know what b is, which is what we're trying to discover. Okay? Well, let's go and figure this out. So this is negative 6 sevenths times 4 over 1. And it looks like that's going to be negative 24 over 7. Okay? Equals negative 2 plus b. Now, I'm going to change this plus, um, this negative 24 sevenths, and it become, it's going to become a plus, a positive 24 sevenths. Okay? So they got rid of that. So that B equals this. Again, we have the wrong, uh, we don't have a common denominator, so what we're going to do is go 24 sevenths plus a negative 2 over 1, and we're going to make 7 the same, so times 7 times 7, it becomes negative 14, 24. So then when we do that, 24 plus a negative 14 will give us a 10 over 7. 10 over 7. Let me make sure I got that right. 10 over 7, yes I did. Alright, so that's what B equals. Now, we come up here, Y equals our M is negative 6 sevenths x plus, and our b is 10 sevenths. And that's the final answer. They want you to leave the x and the y as the same. The only reason we had to use or put the um, numbers in earlier was to come up with this. Okay? So they want you to put it in this slope intercept form. Leave the y is y and the x is x, x at the very end. And just insert your m and your b by using this method. All right? All right, last one. Okay. Last one. Find the equation of the line that passes through points 4, 3, and 4, negative 3. Now, you really need to pay attention on this one because you will see why in just a minute. So, I'm going to graph this 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3. 
and 4, negative 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 3. Hopefully you realize real quick, we are not making a slanted line. We are making a vertical line. Now, because of that, um, these are special cases. I'm just reading this. It says vertical and horizontal lines can be thought of as special um, cases. So what we know is that x equals 4, okay? Um, if we tried to find the slope, for example, how much did we go up? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That would be the rise, would be 6. Well, um, what, what if we did fall? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Whether we rose or we fall, we got a 6, okay? But how much did we run? How much did we go left and right? We can't. So then that would mean there, it, there, it would be rise over run, and our run would be zero. And hopefully, if you were to put this into your calculator, just to show you something, six divided by zero would be error. That's what they would say. Anything divided by zero is error. So the answer to this problem, you would say, is undefined. There is no slope because we have to have a run in order to see how much it's going up. Okay? So you would say undefined. And that is lesson 106.